Are you ready to do something fun? Excellent. You know what I think is fun? Drawing. And today we have a special guest who is going to help us draw. Are you ready? Grab a piece of paper. Grab something to draw with. And let's do this. How did you do? Do you want to see mine? Wasn't that so fun? I love to draw and I love the pictures he showed at the end of other friends who drew the temple. Now, something important about the temple is that it brings us closer to who? Any ideas? You got it. Being at the temple or in the temple brings us closer to Jesus Christ. Because whose house is this? You got it. This is his house. So the more we are here, the more we will learn about him. And the more we learn about him, the more we will be ready for something very, very important and something very, very big. And that is the second coming. Have you heard of that before? It's an interesting thing, isn't it? To think about the Savior coming to the earth again. Sometimes it can kind of sound a little scary, but when I really stop and think about it, I am so excited. So to learn more about it, what do we need to do? Pull out those scriptures. Yes, open it up. Da, 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 da. Let's read. First Thessalonians chapter five, verses two through three and six. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. 
Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let us not sleep, but let us watch. Just like we talked about before, being in the temple helps us to know Jesus Christ. And the more we know him, the more we are prepared. We are ready because we know him and we will recognize him. So, if we are doing things like going to the temple, reading our scriptures, saying our prayers, going to church and learning, are we watching? Yes, we are. When we choose to do those things that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ have asked us to do, we are watching and we are preparing and we will be ready when the time has come for the Lord to come again. Like I said before, it can kind of be a little scary because we don't know when, but when we are preparing and watching, we can feel that joy in our heart, looking forward to seeing the Savior again. That gives me goosebumps and that makes me excited. And when I feel excited and happy and joyful, you know what comes next. La 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 la. Let's sing. Will I be ready there? Will earth be white with drifted snow? Or will the nor world no spring? Those are all excellent questions. I love that song because it puts all of my thoughts into a beautiful song. But the most important part is that Jesus Christ will come again. 
that all of the things we are working towards here on earth, trying to be our best selves, learning, changing, growing, asking for forgiveness, saying sorry, trying new things, becoming who the Lord wants us to be. All of those things have a purpose and everything will make more sense. Everything will be completely clear when the Savior comes again. So what do we do? We keep working. We keep trying and we keep moving forward, trusting in our Heavenly Father and following our Savior because their plan is the perfect plan for you and for me so that we get to be with our families forever in the presence of our Heavenly Father and our Savior. I know they live. I know Jesus Christ will come again. He is everything that we need. So follow Him. Trust Him. Believe Him. And you'll be ready. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.